I'm set up in this little area here. There's a, there's a real nice pinch point over to my left. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like a ditch. Uh, but there's kind of a creek um, running along this ridge here. I think once upon a time this used to be like cattle lands, like a cattle ranch. And um, there's these like irrigation ditches that, um, that run along here. And so there's like a little bit of a crossing here that's a little bit drier than other spots. So we put a camera on this. It's actually like 10 yards away from me. And um, we had a real nice buck on it. I haven't checked it uh, probably in like a solid month, but I kind of wish I had pulled the card on my way in so I could look at it right now, but I didn't want to leave my scent down there because I figured my my best opportunity if something comes through is probably going to be right there where that camera is, so I didn't want to get my scent all over it. So I'll check it when I get down. As you can tell from my swatting and fidgeting, the mosquitoes are absolutely terrible this morning. It's just ridiculous. I've been getting tore up since I got here. Anyway, it's been real quiet so far. There's no wind at all. But I know there's some hot does in the area just based on what I saw on our cell camera. That's about 300 yards away. So I'm hoping there's a hot doe near me and that she brings an unsuspecting buck my way. Preferably that really big buck. So that guy, um, we call him the ninja. We get him on all of our trail cam pictures. And he travels through this area. He walks out here a lot. And uh, that's the first time I've seen him in person. But uh, it's kind of funny, he came over. He had no idea I was here. I, th I thought he was just like taking off a layer and then he was gonna keep going, but then he like, Put down a chair and sat down. <clears throat> I hope he goes out there and kicks up some deer and then they come over here and I shoot them. set up on this palmetto flat that I was set up on last weekend. I ended up leaving all my stuff here and just came in this morning and got back on the same tree. It's been pretty quiet over here. I had a, a doe come by earlier. She was about 70 yards out. My wind was blowing directly at her. 
eventually just moved right on. But Alex has been seeing a lot of does closer to this uh, flat pond over my shoulder here. Like around 10 o'clock, we're gonna get down and relocate. And I move closer to the flat pond. I'm gonna cover the top side. He's gonna cover the bottom side. Seems like the deers are circling that flat pond and hanging out real close to it. Look at these turkeys. And I was, I was shaking from spooking that one dog. At that same height? Yeah, about here, about here. <laughs> You know, we get up there. And uh, so after I spooked that one doe, I actually put my bow in my hand. And I was sitting here and I saw that one come in. And I, I'm leaning off the side like this. And she goes to hang towards you. And when she comes right back, I already had it range. And from up there, there was a tree in a bush, and as soon as she got through that tree in the bush, I just let her have it. Nice. 42 yards. 42 yards. 42 yards. That's my signature move. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Found the arrow. It's got good blood on it. Oh, yeah. And she booked this way, right? No, look, I'm telling you, we were on it. She's dead right there. She went. Right through, right where we okay. were. Okay. Blood here. Some blood here. Ah, look at that white belly. There he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a spike. Look at that. Dude, great shot. Congratulations, dude. Thank you. I want to see very, that entrance one. Very nicely done. Oh, you guys going to pull them apart? <laughs> That's cool. What's going on, guys? Getting back in the stand this afternoon. It's a bit breezy this afternoon now. Hopefully, uh, stay nice and tight on the tree. First year of saddle hunting, it's uh, everybody should give it a shot. I'll tell you that. Well, it's like 5:30. A few hours till dark see what happens, do some observation sits, and uh, if a big one comes out, I'll get shot. Stay tuned.
Mẹ Yo. Yeah. Yeah. It's down. Good eight. Yeah, he's good eight point. Probably like 90 inches, 80, 90 inches. Yeah. Arrow out the fucking bunny, GB. Let's go. Well, I didn't have time to do an intro. I had a dog come by me. And uh, I just, I was like, oh, maybe a buck will follow her. Sure enough, I looked across the pond. Here come a nice eight point. 20 yards, drilled him. 50 yard run, fell over. Walking the swamp is down. Yeah, so we're on the ground now. I'll take a look at his arrow. What kind of blood we got? What's gonna fall? I just want to see how broadhead is acting. I got blood. I know where he ran, so. Hell yeah. Damn good buck. Missing a brow. Good six pointer. Well, there's one way in Florida than getting deer help. That's the only way, is to float them. Damn my bud.
All right, y'all. Robbie was so excited about shooting that book that he completely forgot to do an outro. That's cool. I got him. Um, if you guys like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure that you do it now. Um, and if you want to support the channel a little bit more, uh, go check out our Patreon page. You can click this link right here. And there you can make a small monthly donation that really helps out the channel. But it also gets you a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, like we send you some merch. Uh, you get extra entries into our quarterly giveaways. Uh, and also we have exclusive giveaways just for our Patreon members. And we organize some events uh, with that community as well. Uh, one of the exclusive uh, giveaways that we're doing right now is we're actually giving away uh, a hunt with uh, the Swamp and Stomp crew for two of our Patreon members. We're going to choose at random um, and basically Danny and I will get in the tree with, with those two members that are going to be hunting and we'll be filming the hunts with them. Uh, so if you want to come out and hunt with us, make sure that you become a member. Click right up there. And with that, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.